Hello, and today I wanted to do a review of a text editor. It's called TextMate. It's a Mac only application and it's $46, £46. It's a coders text editor and I just really want to run through some of the cool features in it. It's got tons and tons of features and considering it's just a text editor and it costs £46 then it better have lots of features but it's really really good coders and I just want to clarify something first and I haven't actually bought this app yet I've got the trial but there's no there's no visible proof of the trial which is something that I like about the app the application there's no visual clutter just because you haven't bought it but but anyway I want I want to show you um this and unless something goes drastically wrong this is what you can be seeing in my videos so to start off with you've got a really simple interface and just a blank document which is what you want when you're a coder so that you can start typing code um, because you know it's our bread and butter um, so I just want to show you that I've got a theme here the, the theme I've got applied is called um, is called Twilight but by default and there's all those themes to choose from by default you get that um, and those, those code but I'm gonna move it back to Twilight because it makes it easier for me again that's personal preference but for me this editor actually makes it fun for me to code um, I, I found out that when I was trying to take this video I just rambled on too much and to give people an example I, I, I wrote code and I just kind of ran away with the coders opposed to uh, showing them the editor because I love code and a, a big part of this application for me is code organisation making it easier to write code it doesn't hold your hand but it makes it a lot easier and it makes it my code better um, so let's get started in this review and I'm sorry if I ramble on a bit because I'm just so passionate about it so the first thing I wanted to show you is document templates there's a common thing you always do when you um, start something you know I've found specifically for doing videos it's a bit of a hassle to create a HTML file just for a video wouldn't it be great if you had a template that's what this menu is for and the template is that it comes with a great so if I go to HTML all I have to do is select the spec that I want and then it comes up with that file you notice the the indenting structure which is exactly my indenting structure and it it learns from what you learn so it comes up with different code for the different thing so all I need to do then is start typing in the body tag so I've already got a standard compliant HTML file just from that so that's templates and it's not just for HTML there's lots for all different languages uh, obviously it highlights the different parts of the code um, the next thing I wanted to show you is auto indentation you notice when I enter on the body tag it indents it for me so the whole idea of this is it's easier to read I've this indentation is awesome this is part of the sole reason why I'm gonna buy this text editor because the indentation is great I know you can tab in but it just makes it so much easier with this text editor so I'm just gonna write a hierarchy of code to give you an idea of how it works and how well it works 
So this is the example I used last time when it r ran away with me. I just noticed that I've clicked the opening one and it's added the closing one for me. Um, and it's highlighted it so that I know it's done it. Um, so if I just type, I don't know, div id. Rapper. You don't know what. If you don't know what this is, then it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. Um, the the rappers obviously the 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 utmost thing. So any and if I just put the closing tag anything inside of that sh should be indented so if i go in between those two tags press enter it automatically puts me there and it does that for lots of things so if i just do div it's it's running away with me again but i'll try and keep to the point it's just i love this stuff so much that it's a bit difficult not to spend 20 minutes talking about it um if i just do that again same concepts then it's automatically gonna indent for me in there so that goes on as long as long as you need it to and that makes it really helpful and also um, makes it good for the next feature that I'm gonna talk about uh, it has line numbering which is good when you try to troubleshoot but, but it also has folders and what it calls folders. So this is where you need a hierarchy. So let's say I didn't want to see anything with the wrapper. I could just minimize the wrapper and it wouldn't show me anything in there. But I could see the rest of the file. So let's say I didn't want to see the head section. I can just click the folder I come back and still see the rest of the file this is based itself off indentations and it, it makes it really easy um so um that's pretty much that and then it also has bundles so if you forget what you're writing it makes it easier so I can automatically add some lorm ipsum and then it adds some placeholder text obviously no. that's the wrong place to put it but and there's all these different languages and it has syn different syntax highlighting for each language I can automatically enclose everything in p tags um I can validate the code right from within the right from within TextMate which is really really nice and something I'll definitely be using. And it says that it found one error. And if we look at what this error is, it's because I put that code in, in the head section. So if I save that, 
and revalidate it. Again, it all does from well inside this application so you can check your HTML and get a visual heads up on what's wrong before showing it to the world. And this actually pings the W3C website so it keeps up to date and it tells me my markup valid um so the 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 uh code that it's given me is valid and this is the, the official web standards website um um so that's that and then there's also if I wrote some code that wasn't indented properly and say I pasted in someone else else's code thus fighting textmates auto indent indentation. So let's say I So what I'm trying to show you is that I'm not using a proper indent structure. So how do I get those things to auto indent? Well I select the uh, code and I just hit a keyboard shortcut which automatically indents them. and I can indent further if I want to. There's also blogging functionality built directly into TextMate with the blogging bundle. What you do is basically set up your blogs and then it'll work. You can also um, if I was to drag a file into there then it knows the proper way to, to actually embed that file and it knows what t type of file it is so it generates the code to automatically embed it and it does all this sort of and stuff so, so that was a rundown of TextMate there's a ton of stuff that I haven't mentioned, but it it really will take your code one step further, and it's quite pricey, but I really think it's worth it. So, hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.